tune in for Patrick Ching's painting in paradise. Aloha, I'm Patrick Ching and thank you for joining me on Painting in Paradise. In this episode, we learn about Hawaii's breadfruit known as ulu. We'll learn a little bit about ulu from arborist Heidi Bornhorst. And then I'll show you how to draw some ulu and its leaves. We'll have some colorful fun at a ulu painting party in Ainahaina. The ulu came to Hawaii aboard sailing canoes and we'll join a sailing canoe paint and brunch party at the Chart House Waikiki. We can't forget to taste some ulu from Auntie Rose's famous tree in Waimanalo. All this and more on a deliciously beautiful episode of... Painting in Paradise! I learned a bit about Hawaii's ulu from my favorite arborist, Heidi Bornhorst. One of the most popular and important healthy-to-eat Polynesian trees is ulu. Imagine, it's a starch that grows on a tree. And with a little early effort, this, this is an tree amazing will mosquito feed your pump. family for generations. You collect this and dry it, e and ulu. then you light it up. Live long, on your lanai. be strong like a ulu. What a gift So ulu this is a leaf sheet is to us in Hawaii. And Such it protects the good leaf when it comes out. And many other uses. For us artists, it is just such a beautiful tree and art motif. Oh. The male flower of the ulu, or breadfruit, which kind of looks like a corn dog. This is an amazing mosquito punk. You collect this and dry it, and then you light it up on your lanai when you're gonna have a party and no mosquitoes. So this is a leaf sheath, and it protects the new leaf when it comes out. When it's soft and pliable, this makes an amazing lay. The shape of the ulu leaves are so incredible. In fact, they're one of the most adored designs on Hawaiian quilts. The fruits are generally green, but when they ripen, they can be more yellowish in color. You may also see some brownish color on them and spots of sap as well. Though the green leaves and fruit are beautiful in themselves, as an artist, you may like to include some other colors in your painting, like orangish leaves or blue sky. The bluish reflection on top of the shiny leaves are also an appreciated touch of color. We all know that ulu are beautiful to paint, but now it's time to get some to eat. Some of the ripe ulu are high up in Auntie Rosie's tree. It'll take a combination of ingenuity, balance, and skill to get them. Okay, easy, easy, down, slowly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dig -a -dig. The freshly picked fruit has lots of sap oozing from it. The low hanging fruit can be picked by hand. There's a couple for us and some for the friends. I know there are many delicious ulu recipes, but I'm just happy to bake them and eat them. Mmm, mum, mum, mum. Mum, mum. Thank you. Now get your papers, pens, pencils, and whatever you want to draw with ready, because when we return, I'll show you how to draw in Ulu. Hawaii's monk seals and green sea turtles have been around for millions of years. When their numbers got low, they became protected by law. These animals are returning to beaches they've not come to for hundreds of years. This causes excitement and sometimes conflict. Honuen Hina is a children's book that was painted with aloha by many artists of all ages. This story of coexistence answers some questions about the history of these animals, but more importantly, about their future. Available at the Kilauea Lighthouse, Patrick Ching Art in the Princeville Center, or online at patrickchingart.com.
All right, friends, so I'm going to show you how I go about drawing a breadfruit or maybe two or even three breadfruit, okay? All right, remember to press softly. How are we going to press? Softly. softly. That's right. We're going to press softly so you don't dig into the paper, and that way you might leave some lines that you don't want to leave. And if you press softly, you can erase lines or ignore lines, and uh, that's how I get my thing started, yeah? You ready? You ready? Everybody ready? Okay, let's go. Now just go ahead and form up your breadfruit using a simple shape like a circle right there. Softly. And I'll make my main breadfruit about that big. Now I'm gonna put a couple more of them, okay, behind. And I'll make one right around here. And I'll make one more down below. Okay, so right around there. And that's the basic stars of my show, the breadfruit. Now I'm gonna get a couple of these leaves that come over, yeah? And I'm gonna make one go kind of like this. They got that beautiful shape there. So I'm gonna put a leaf kind of hanging in front of my breadfruit. This one's in front of that one. Both of them are in front of that one. And we can take it from here. Now behind them, I'll put the nice, beautiful, unmistakable shape of the breadfruit's leaf, yeah? And for that, I'll just make a midrib, kind of a line coming there. And I'll put some jing, 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 some lines coming out there, okay? So I follow my lines like that, and I'll make that beautiful shape of the breadfruit. And right around there, they got a little bit of a dip. Just like that, okay? I just did one side. Now take a good look at your breadfruit's shape of their leaves. So cool, yeah? Unmistakable. All right. So I'll start one again over here. Right there. And I can let people know we got a little bit of leaves coming there and a little bit coming there behind things, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna go using this as my guide, make some more details and tell the viewer what's in front of what, okay? I'm using a bigger pen. You can press a little harder on your pencil or use a pen yourself. I'm going to make one little uh, stalk. And I'll put this breadfruit a little bit behind that leaf. So you notice this circle. Yeah, it's going to stop right there. And every time you overlap a line in front of another line, you're telling the viewer what goes in front of what. So remember, I had this ulu leaf, this breadfruit leaf come here. Yeah. Okay, and then we'll erase or ignore that line later on. I'm going to go ahead and shape up my other two breadfruit. And one more. Pink. So I got one, two, three. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest of my ulu leaves. I like this part right there. Little loop over there, yeah? And this one. All right. I'll get those midribs in there and these little veins. Pink. And that's all the outlining I'm going to do for my breadfruit. I'll go back with a little thinner pen, or you take your pencil again, and now we're going to do some shading. Yeah, from the Greek word uh, shadiferous. I don't know if that's a really a Greek word, but shading comes from shadows, and that's what we're going to create to give this some form and further let the viewer, you, know which fruit is in front of the other one and which leaf is in front of the fruit and so on, okay? All right, now you can shade each of these just like a ball. When the source of light hits the ball, it's lighter there, and then it slowly fades to the outside and gets a little darker. And then we got something called reflective light. So I'm just gonna go and demonstrate a little bit. Okay, watch this. Now you notice I even can use a little circular motion to make these shadows and that's a fun technique and I think will go well with this breadfruit.
And now I think I got my shading pretty nice. You know, it's showing you that this breadfruit is in front of that one and that one's in front of that one. So now in a drawing like this where you got a lot of shadow, you can choose whether you want more of your shadows behind the leaf or put them on the leaf. And for this sake, I'll put the shadows on the leaves, okay? And I'll just keep shading. give it some little touches of just these kind of circles that you see on the pattern of the breadfruit. I'll just put some here and there. And don't forget your signature. So that's a quick and simple drawing of some breadfruit and its leaves. Now you can go and take this and do some watercolor painting on top of it or colored pencils or markers or whatever you might want to color with and see what you can make happen with your breadfruit drawing. When we return, we'll have an Ulu painting party. Hey friends, it's me, Patrick Ching. And I'm here to introduce you to the Papa Hanao Mokuakea Song and Color Book Project. All you gotta do is just go to uh, www.papahanaomokuakeasong.com. And here, I'm gonna do it right here. See, it's on the computer. And then when the website comes up, it might start playing some music. And if not, you just press this little button right there and bing, Magic. That's Kavika Kahiapo, and he's telling us about this song. You can even download the coloring book pages and the ukulele chords. Hmm. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Scroll down and get the free coloring book pages. Right there, Download the coloring book pages, print them out, and color them. See them. Now this downloads better with a laptop computer rather than a um, handheld device. Kabika Kahiapo. So if you want to learn a lot and have fun doing it, download, print, and color the pages at papahanaomokuakeasong.com. papahanaomokuakeasong.com. A group of friends and I had a Ulu painting party at Lexi and Barney's place. We worked with acrylic paints on canvas boards in a beautiful setting. Oh. <laughs> he was on? No, he was before Checkers and Pogo. Well, I don't remember. Yeah. That weird, I think. Yeah. First, we started with a base uh, coat of paint yeah, yeah. where the Ulu, oh, leaves, oh. and other things would go. Um, just cover it first. Yeah, cover the second layer usually gets thicker. Yeah, they're a little tricky. They're gonna be dark ones. Okay. And then. Um, so they're like different ones, or is that the painting? Yeah. Oh, I see. It's like here. folding it's, it's down. All, one all of that is okay. one leaf. Okay. Behind it. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. they're just folding down. Yeah. Okay. You can make that back that's real dark. Part. Yes. Okay. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put some whites on here. 
on your um, palette, white and blue, even blue is supposed to be in there. They're real strong compared to white. So we're going to start learning, you know, what colors really overpower the other ones. I'll just put a little bit of blue to mix it That's a good thing. If you're going to put any blue in there, Experimentation too, you know, mix a little of that. So. <laughs> oh, We have sonar that we see with. We don't just see with our eyes. Sometimes I'll grab a person's brush and demonstrate the kind of strokes I want to use. So I want to definitely separate those two. Reflections on the shiny leaves can be attained by a transparent layer of paint. in three hours, our blank canvases turned into everlasting Hulu paintings. Hello, Lexi and Barney, for hosting this beautiful breadfruit painting party. One, two, three. Painting in paradise! When we return, we'll join a paint and brunch party at the Chart House Waikiki. My favorite Oceanside restaurant is the Chart House Waikiki.
It's owned by renowned waterman Joey Cabell and his wife, Yana. I love the spectacular view of the Alawai Harbor and inside are amazing images of surfing history and art. This iconic poster by Bill Ogden is the one that got me painting surf posters when I was growing up. On this day, the Chart House offered its guests a special brunch and paint event. We enjoyed an awesome brunch and great live music. Then it was off to our painting party with this group of artists painting Hawaiian sailing canoes. After a couple hours, we had a whole fleet of beautiful canoes. Another group of artists prepared to paint a honu after brunch. But first, a quick lesson on drawing the super secret pattern of the sea turtle's back. Then it was time to paint the backgrounds. After that, they painted the sections or scoots of the Honu shell. Finally, it was time for the details, like the leathery skin, scales, and the little sunrise patterns within the scoots. And in no time, we had a beautiful collection of happy Honu. Thank you Chart House Waikiki for hosting these fun and delicious events. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on Painting in Paradise. I hope you enjoyed learning about Hawaii's breadfruit known as ulu. Thanks again to Yana and Joey at the Chart House Waikiki and Barney and Lexi for hosting the ulu painting party. I'd love to see what you did, so why don't you send a picture of you and your art to aloha at patrickching.com. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, I'm sorry.